All right, all right, all right, everybody. <laughs> all right. Habari za Asabui, Habari za Mchana, Habari za Gioni, brothers and sisters all over the world. Dadas and kakas, kakas and dadas. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, brothers and sisters all over the world. And yes, I am talking to each and every one of you all over the world. The name of this channel is The African Times. And I'm Thomas. All right. Welcome back, everybody. I'm here in the home spot. All right. And listen, everybody, I, I'm coming to you this morning. It's a great morning. It's a good broadcast of the rise and shine. The rise and shine. So this morning, I wanted to get up a little early. I'm, I got my back against the tree, as you can see. Oh, listen to that. I got my back against the tree, as you can see. Uh, it's not a good rap, but it, it, the point is <laughs> I got my back against the tree because it's hot and I'm trying to keep the, the lower half of my body in the shade. Uh, but I'm feeling good. Some good things are happening. Um, things look like they're trending in the right direction. So that's that's a good thing. I just wanted to come and uh, let you guys know that uh, it's an update, a UA update. Uh, we We're still looking for a headquarters, a place to stay. We're looking for that a place to have the company. Um, we're still here and we're still doing wonderful things. And I want to thank you all for your support uh, because without that, we could not be here and we could not do the things that we're doing. Uh, very, very good information. We're up to 939 subscribers and that's good. Got to get to that thousand. Remember, I was coming to you. I wanted to give you an update, let you know where we were, 939. But I also need you to know that we've got to keep pushing hard. We've got to get to that 1,000 this month. It's very important. You guys have been doing a great job. The numbers have been picking up. Just to give you an idea, uh, we're talking about uh, in just the last week, we got uh, 30, 38 subscribers. And that's really good. So if you're out there, if you're watching, uh, you're subscribing, that's wonderful. And I, I need you to understand how important it is. If you watch and you don't subscribe, that's good. We, we're going to keep doing the videos. We're here for you. But if you watch and you don't subscribe and you hear this message, please understand. It's very important for you to do that. I didn't realize how important it was in the beginning uh, when I first started this. Uh, but uh, subscribing is a way to contribute to uh, our efforts without having the responsibility of submitting uh, dollars or rubles or <laughs> whatever you have, pounds, shillings or wh whatever you have, any money, uh, you can do that just by hitting that subscription button, uh, hitting the like button if you like, and, and that's a way of partnering with us. It's very important. It allows us to continue to do the things that we're doing and also uh, it helps us to, to help the people that we're trying to help. Uh, if, if many of you have been following, you understand that uh, we are here uh, in Tanzania and we are trying to uh, create economic activity, economic activity that is beneficial to both us, because obviously we have to be able to survive, uh, which is why we say hit that survival button, <clears throat> that survival button, excuse me, that survival button, which is the subscribe button. Uh, but we have to be able to survive. And as long as I have breath in my body, as long as I have air in my lungs, as long as I'm able to wake and see another day, my efforts will be united with all black African people uh, to provide economic activity to take care of these children and, and, the, and our senior citizens. And then us, like my age and those who are younger than me, young adults, uh, create economic activity so that we have a secure foundation so that our children uh, have a bright future, a uh, prosperous future, a future that is uh, filled with prosperity. And then our seniors, uh, our good brothers and sisters who came before us and have lived and worked their whole lives, struggled through this, uh, this global economic system that currently is dominated and controlled by 
people that don't look like me and you, uh, W's, and those people have worked and struggled through this system and they survive. Well, they need assistance now because they can't work until they die. They need assistance to be able to uh, have a place to live peacefully uh, as they continue to age and then go towards the end of their time here with us. I'm committed to that. And, and we can do that. And that should not be something that's based on profit. That can't be something that's based on profit. Because if you follow the capitalistic view and the Western uh, view of profit and, 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 and profit being the dominant, profit being the dominant feature of an economic system, then the health and welfare of our seniors uh, and our children will be a low priority to profit. And you can't do that. We, we can't do that. Even if, if they do that, that's for them. And they may have a system that is so strong and, and, and dominant at the time that they can focus on that kind of uh, economic system to where they have institutions in place that support. They have institutions in place. Yeah, babe. Yeah. I love that girl. That's, that's my daughter there. Yeah, I love you too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we are going to take a video of me and you. That's coming, babe. Yeah, and then you can tell the world all of your brilliant and smart things you have to say. I know that's coming. Okay, yeah, we're back. Sorry about that. Everybody had a little interruption there. The uh, phone rang and that kicks the video out. But the point that I was making is that uh, the W's, the people that don't look like us, their system is already in place and it's strong enough so that their institutions can support uh, their young, their old people, their senior citizens. They have uh, a series of hospitals and nursery home, nursing homes and uh, housing projects and things of that nature to uh, support their aging population. Uh, but we have the same opportunity as I was as explaining to you before. It's just in your consciousness, in your mind. All, all of our seniors, whether they have money or not, we collectively have enough money, collectively, that we can put together a system to, ha to house our senior citizens, provide medical care. We have the, the educational background. We have the nursing systems. We have all of those things in place to take care of those people. It's just having the consciousness to do it and not letting people sit back and tell us they'll take care of it for us and that we don't have to do it. That's just not the case. They're not going to do it. They're going to give us subpar inadequate facilities. They're going to give us subpar uh, funding so that those facilities don't uh, can't operate and can't survive. And then they're going to tell you it's, the, it's your fault. Not that they uh, interfered with the process of you developing in such a way that you were aware that you had the responsibility to take care of your own people and that you have the ability to do it. Again, I, I want to make sure you guys understand something. It's very important. The economic activity and the approach to solving this problem of housing our older people, our senior citizens, that's on us. Men and women, that's on us. We have the financial resources. We don't have to go to the banks. It's not an issue that we don't have the facility. We have the money. We have everything. Sorry about that, everybody. We have everything in place, everything that we need in place to do it. And, and I want you to understand all of the money that's being directed in certain institutions without balance. For example, you take your religious institutions, your churches. We, we can't keep playing with this. It's very important because our children and our senior citizens are suffering because of this misdirection of resources. If you sink all of your resources in the development of structures, churches, okay? You sink your resources in there and then you let a small group of people, preachers, control all of those resources resources left to their own group and, and, and not them as individuals but certainly 
there are many of them as individuals who are the dominant uh, leader in their institutions, even, even if they had a, a board or a board of deacons, a panel, whatever. If all of your resources are in that only, without balance, and those individuals do not have the collective consciousness to understand that pool those resources in such a way that they give up much of that money, much of it, I mean the majority of it, to preparing for our children and our senior citizens, then you're being taken advantage of. You're being taken advantage of almost in the same way that the W's do it to us. Your, your, your funding is being misdirected. And I, I don't have time to, to, to play with this anymore because I'm, I'm, I'll be a senior too. And my children, I have them. The, the educational institutions, the the political institutions you don't you don't even have to participate in you know did you vote for this one and did you vote for that one no you 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 do know you have enough people as us that we can create our own entire entire complete political system and organization that manages our lives in such a way that protects us and provides for our security and well-being this is not something that is uh, impossible, it's, it's more than doable because you have the money. But again, as I was pointing out to you, th there's a study, a brother who, you know, you guys may look him up, Dr. Amos Wilson, please look him up. You need to, you need to listen to this brother. But he did one of his lectures where he, he told us that in 1990, there were 87,000 churches. That's, all, that's on record, uh, 87,000. If you take 87,000 churches and everybody gave us $10, even, it's $10. And you, you math people, you do the math. And you know they're giving more than that. But let's just say you took that. Every week. Every week. And by 2015, so just take 15 years. How much money do you think that would be? You understand? You actually have enough money coming through just that one institution so that you can fund all of our institutions. We can build cars, buses, planes, trucks, everything, houses, everything, roads, all that. You understand? Yet, you've let a people, through their promotion, propaganda, their economic approach, philosophy, ideology, convince us that no, it's okay to send the vast majority of our uh, money into this one area and not see anything. I, I don't have time to play with it. I, I, listen, man, I, I'm, I'm too old. I saw from the beginning neighborhoods where church is popping up every, everywhere. I'm not understand what I'm saying. I don't have time to watch my children suffer and be impoverished and enslaved for the rest of my life. And my children are every, every black African child. My children, if they have success and the other black African children do not, then the success my children think they have is temporary. It'll fail, just like our neighborhoods. We have enough money to support our neighborhoods, rebuild our houses, build them, tear them down, and build new ones. We have that money. But we've allowed some people to, in that way, and there are many, many others. But in that one way, in that one way, where the, pur the purpose of the people is to actually, they tell you it's for your salvation. It's for, uh-uh, uh-uh. We must protect and provide the security for our seniors. So, so listen, I, I didn't mean to go into all that. I'm gonna do a little bit more detailed, thorough uh, kind of analysis of that. But listen, I want you to understand, not anti, anti, you know, God and all that. Don't 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 get confused by that. That's just some distraction. The same way that they distract you by saying you're a reverse racist. You can't be a reverse racist. You don't have no no power to impose uh, unfair economic practices against any group of people. We we are not in that position of power in the world to do that. But if they can convince you that when you start to stand up for yourself and you start to speak about those issues and talk about the solutions to, to solve your own economic problems, 
if they can convince you that you're doing that and you're being bad towards other people and that it's morally improper and all this, then you'll abandon those ideas. And then that keeps you in the same subordinate position forever and forever until they annihilate you. And this is just this is just what we're dealing with. We, we as men, we don't have time to keep doing this. We have the lives of our children and our senior citizens and our women. Now, I love you all, and I, I have to tell you the truth. Remember, truth to death. And I'm, I'm not going to... I'm not going to I'm not going to shy away from talking about the truth. I I, I got to listen. I'm going to tell you guys personally coming up my view uh, about uh, God. I mean, it's a dominant theme in our lives and uh, there there are things I remember they told me don't talk don't talk you don't talk politics, you don't talk sex <clears throat> and you don't talk religion. And if you do that, you'll have friends. That's foolishness. Those are the very, uh, the, the very uh, dominant subjects of our lives that dictate our lives. I'll tell you foolishness in a minute, babe. Those are the things that dominate our lives. So if you don't talk about them, how are you going to plan for them? How are you going to put them in your life in a positive way that benefits you if you don't talk about them? But you let these other people talk about them and build institutions and, and then you follow a philosophy. Now, be careful. Understand what I'm telling you. Be careful. None of these things should divide us. We're all one people. And these things are secondary to our problems. Secondary. We are all black African people. And I'm, I, I have the lecture. It's coming. But just a little teaser here. For those of you who've asked me about black African, listen, black is just a word, a combination of symbols, B-L-A-C-K, to express what? Something, some idea, some concept, to describe a, a people, a, a way of thinking, a consciousness, whether you're deep, dark, 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 midnight black to caramel to, to, to almost pale white. What is your consciousness? What is your spirit? What is your mind? Are you thinking about us as a people and our social situation that we have to deal with and solve? Are you uniting with a group of people, understanding that we are living together on this earth? That's what's meant by black. It's a way of looking at life, a thought, concept, a consciousness, a collectiveness, a group consciousness that we have to have in order to survive. And trust me, the other people have it. They have different names for it. NATO, Warsaw, right? 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 You know, they have different groups. United Nations, right? League of Nations. These are things historically that uh, a group of people that don't look like me and you have put these words, symbols together to reflect their united efforts and their united ideology in their life. And this is what we're talking about. As far as Africa, understand something. This is just one location on this planet where you find a large majority of people who have the same physical appearance. That's not saying identical appearance. We don't all look alike. We have various differences. But generally, we're all in this same location. And we obviously then would talk about the name currently in place to describe this location of the land, which is Africa. So if I start calling it something else, many of you may not know what I'm talking about. If I say a Kibalon, a, 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 a Kemet, uh, or whatever... Those of you who've been educated in a certain way may know of those things, or, or you may not. But if I say Africa, generally everybody's going to know, okay, Africa, it's over there. It's where all the black people are. You see? So we, we can't allow uh, sometimes some things to distract us from the real, the real core issue in that we're all one people. Even within the continent of Africa, if you're over here, you're over there, you, you're up there, you're down there, you're still one people. Whether you like it or not, you're one people. Whether you believe it or not, you want people. Certainly all the other people who are dominating us, see, they understand that. 
So they're going to continue to promote and portray this separation, this disunity, all that. They're going to do that. So anyway, UA update, everybody. Um, I appreciate you. I need you to continue to subscribe and support to help us keep doing the things. I hope you understand that nothing I've said in any way in my core spirit and belief is any way taken away from the fact that we are one people. We have these children, these senior citizens that we need to protect. And everything that I'm trying to do with every yeah. breath in my body is for that purpose. My life is over as, as a person. For me, I'm at the end. So the remaining time that I have here should be spent just like the rest of you brothers. And even the young ones, you're 25, I want you to listen, you're 25, 30. That time that you spent in joy, but remember, your purpose should be united in action and intentionality for the benefit of the people coming after you and those people who paved the way for you to survive and get to the age that you are. And that's the people in front of you, our senior citizens. So help us, everybody. We appreciate it. Remember to like, subscribe. Thank you for, for watching. Thank you to all of you. You've done a great job. We're moving. Let's keep that going. I love you all. Uh, Uhuru. Uhuru.